um, from our time together, I'd say it's a hard one to be fair. Jordan, Jordan yeah, Jordan, Jordan shirt was the yeah. Nah, it's it's a joke. Yeah, actually, it's, it's quite. Yeah. It's actually it's easily Jordan shirt. <laughs> yeah, yeah, easily, easily. He was, and he, um, was the, he was the loudest. He was the biggest joker. You couldn't get away with anything wearing any dodgy gear or anything. But he was always good energy when he like. He was always yeah. positive energy, and I like, um, he he lifted the group a lot, like, a lot. Oh, I tell you what, John. I know John. one. No, John. Go on. Who were you gonna say? I was gonna say Chris Powell. He used to come <laughs> all the way from South yeah. London, and he was late Holy. every day. Yeah. And he just oh, used to right. pay his fine every day. He used to walk he in. Always late. I remember he used to walk in because we had the um, the old physio room, and that's where the clock was to. You know, you obviously you had to walk past the physio room on time, and he used to walk past every day and just go. <laughs> Didn't even <laughs> say anything. He just knew. He was like, yeah. Um, do you know what? I'll, I'll give it to Tom Cleverley um, because he, when he came, he was only young. He was like a teenager, and um, the levels that he set in training were like was so high I remember he was just at it every day he was a young lad coming from Man United and I remember we had we had a young squad and we had players from on loan from different clubs as well and and some were big clubs as well and um, I just remember he used to set such a high standard in training he wanted to be the best player every single day and um, I think uh, it was quite eye-opening at a time for someone so young to to be training and playing the way he done and you know with a lot of responsibility and a lot of maturity as well and um you know even obviously to this day he's still like that now but it was refreshing to see that as a young kid see i can remember fernando Ferreira. he was one of the best and at times he was one of the worst so some days he was just you know, his South American vibe, laid back. You know, sometimes he would just mess about and sometimes he was shocking. But um, at times he was unplayable. Uh, but he, he's definitely one of the worst trainers. Uh, for, that's Lo- Lloyd. That is you, for, Lloyd. For, no. no, no, no. No, for me, for, Lloyd. Okay, <laughs> Lloyd, it's you, it's you, Lloyd. No, I guarantee. Right, I do like a free, Lloyd is the. I like person. a free. End, end, end of this, end of the season. <laughs> he's nicking all the. He's nicking as much kit as he can. He's got free balls. He's taking everything. Yeah, nicking my boots and stuff. Hundred <laughs> percent, Lloyd, it's you. For I'll tell you what, from Lloyd, you got to back me off on this one, Craig Kafka. When he came on loan the first time, yeah, had zero banter. He had zero he, banter. He, he did he not had to get involved in anything. He had kind of zero personality. <laughs> <It's>, oh, <laughs> mate, I would have. He's mate, right now, though. It's a good lad. I would. Uh, the thing is, he's like he's the funniest now. But yeah. <laughs> so when I when I re-signed for the club, I couldn't believe how funny he was and like, obviously he'd come out of his shell totally because how he was before when he was on loan was the complete opposite. He just didn't yeah. want to get involved in the team banner and now he's, you know, the first one. He's got one dry humour now. now. He's got dry it's really, Yeah, it's brilliant. Yeah. It's brilliant. Lloyd. Never. Lloyd, you've been every manager's pet. <laughs> Since I've been here, are like you every manager's pet, mate? <laughs> no, well, I, you yeah. know, if, um, if a, a, a manager a, asks a, a, me a, to a, do something, I'll do it. But you, I'm, I wouldn't say I'm a manager's pet. Yeah. Everyone loves you. For the right reasons, for the right yeah. reasons. But yeah, definitely. <laughs> you, got, you got named Lloydinho by one of the managers, mate, so... <laughs> <laughs> So I've got, 
Yeah. Do you know what? I've always, <laughs> I already got this in my head already. Marlon King was the biggest moaner. You know, in, in training, there was so many rows. But what I loved about him, he was a winner. Even yeah. though he moaned so much, he just loved winning. So it, after training, he would come in and he'd be so annoyed because they didn't win or he didn't score enough goals. But so he was always moaning, um, but he was a winner. Uh, I'll go for two <laughs> people here. Don't look at me. <laughs> like, I, I'll tell you uh, what, I do wear things that are a little bit suspect, but I like it, so that's all that matters. I'll tell you what, <laughs> Tamash Priskin. Do you remember what, what he used to I gave him terrible. What a guy, though. Tight jeans. He always used to have like a designer top, but it was just so bad that something that no one would wear. A proper European fashion. Damien Francis. Yeah. He yeah. was best, yeah, but he used to pull it off in it. Like he come in yeah. wearing shirts pretty much every day. And it was Yeah, like, he, <laughs> he would look a million dollars every day. Shirt, nice jeans, shoes, every day. Nice yeah. big jacket. He would look like he was going to, you know, to work in the office somewhere. He would look that good. <laughs> hey, this is like hey. picture. Yeah, Lloyd can't dance. I can dance. Jordan, Jordan again. <laughs> Jordan Stewart and Adrian Mariapa. Max can dance. Jordan. And Max. Jordan. Max has got a bit. He's got a bit. Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you want that one, Max? No? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm one of them. <laughs> Depends what day it is. <laughs> no, I, I, I do more than that, but it's normally too much. I don't know my. Uh, I don't know when to stop. <laughs> <laughs> Oi, click here for more videos.